Hey everyone, today we're going to look at another organism, Nocardia. I'd highly recommend you watch the video for actinomyces before this. It will make things much easier to remember. Link is in the description below. Nocardia looks just like actinomyces. It is purple or gram positive and a filamentous branching bacteria. The most important point of difference here is that Nocardia loves its oxygen and is aerobic, while Actinomyces is anaerobic. Like Actinomyces, Nocardia is non-motile and a non-sporing organism. It is important to remember that Nocardia is a partially acid-fast species, which means you can see some red organisms among the blue on ZN staining. It is important to distinguish Nocardia infection from tuberculosis. Nocardia has four subspecies, A, B, C, and M. N asteroids and N brasiliensis are mainly responsible for lung infections. N caviae is rarely seen. N madure, also called Actinomadura madure, is responsible for the infection in Madura foot. Soil is the most common source of Nocardia. That is why it is always an exogenous infection or from an outside source. Through the soil, some organisms become airborne. If breathed in by an immunosuppressed individual, they cause infection. This infection is characterized by localized diffuse pneumonia, which has tuberculosis-like signs and symptoms. Another pathway of infection is through direct contact with the soil. Organisms from the soil can enter the body through minor cuts on the feet. This is commonly seen in individuals who spend a lot of time barefooted in the soil, such as farmers. Once the organisms enter the foot, swelling occur followed by cellulitis. Multiple abscesses are seen which release pus loaded with yellow sulfur granules, just like actinomyces infection. This infection is only cutaneous. It is called mycetoma as, most of the time, nocardia infection is accompanied by some fungal infection. This condition is commonly known as madura foot. Depending on the location of infection, sputum or pus is used as a specimen for laboratory diagnosis. ZN staining is used where we see partially acid-fast bacteria. Brain heart infusion agar or sabrose dextrose agar are used to culture nocardia. It forms dry, granular, wrinkled colonies on the media. The drug of choice used to treat nocardia infection is cotrimoxazole. Remember, it is a combination of sulfonamide plus trimethoprim. So look for these in the options if cotrimoxazole isn't there. Usually, medicine is administered for a long duration of at least 3 months. I hope this video helps you remember everything important about Nocardia. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel.